Hey guys, it's Chuck here, and you're probably wondering what happened to the round two video for the Rocket Game Corner tournament I'm in. Well, my opponent had to forfeit because something came up on his end. So, this is the quarterfinal match because there's only 32 people. So, round three quarterfinals is versus KP32393 of YouTube. And, well, let's get this battle started. The first song will be Blaze Blue OST Rebellion Ragnos, Ragnos theme. So. He goes out in Swampert. I lead with my Utah and blast it. I go for rocks. He goes for rocks. And I go on Scarf Porygon Z. And I get the special attack boost, so huzzah. But then he uses Roar and switches me out into my extra belt glide. I'm like, alright, let's run with this. And I'm gonna close combat. Which that thing's gonna take like a beast, even though I'm max attack. And he's gonna roar my Galad out. And back out into Porygon Z. And I'm like, alright, let's see if I can take him down now. So, I'm going to go for Tri-Attack, and I get a critical hit. So then he goes out into Tri-Attack, and I'm like, okay. And I know I have to switch now, because this Tri-Attack ain't going to do nothing. And he goes for the Pursuit, and I'm like, crap. But I live, so I'm like, okay. So I got into Galad, and he's now going to switch out into Gliscor, which is going to take the close combat like a pro. So, I'm like, alright, since I got Expert Belt, I really just, I can't use that now. I'm gonna have to rely on my soul attack. And obviously, he's gonna outspeed, so I just go for the Psycho Cut right after he toxics me, and I'm like, crap. So, more poison. He's gonna go for Roost, and this next Psycho Cut isn't going to do that much. And I'm like, huh. So after Sandstorm damage and Toxic damage, he's going to go for the Earthquake, which is going to take down my Galad. And I'm like, oh. Okay. So now I go into my Latios. Red Dragon. All right. Your turn, Red Dragon. And he goes right back out into that Tyranitar. And I'm like, okay. So I set up the Reflect. And even with that Reflect up, I'm going to be a two-hit KO with this crunch. I was hoping three, but not likely. So I just go for the Dragon Pulse, and that's going to do a good bit, even with the special defense boost he's getting. So that next crunch is going to take me down. So I'm like, oh, this Trance Heart Scarfed. Oh, crap. So I go into Infidel now, which is Specs, not Scarfed. It wouldn't outrun it anyways. Well, actually it would. So he goes down to Shinji, probably predicting the Aura Sphere, but I go for Air Slash. Which is going to take down that Gliscor. I'm like, okay, Gliscor's gone. So that Tyranitar's still a big threat. So then he goes down to Tyranitar again. Takes more Southern Rock damage. And thanks to the Reflect, I'm going to survive the Stone Edge. But this Air Slash isn't going to do... It's going to do a surprising amount with Specs. So, Sandstorm damage, and then Stone Edge doesn't miss. So there goes Infidel, and I'm like, oh. So then he goes out... So I go into Blast It now. And he switches into Rose Raid. And this is where the battle sort of draws out just a little. And I go for the Thunder Wave. And I'm like, oh my god. I wanted to T-Wave that Scarf T-Tar. So, after the leftovers, I'm going to go straight for Psychic. Which I think I get a crit. Yes, I get a critical hit. And so, after the leftovers animation... I went for Thunderbolt thinking I might have been able to take him down or he was going to go right back into Trance Heart, but he doesn't. So it was a bad prediction on my part. And he goes and uses Rest. So I'm just like... Crap. So... I'm like, this thing's going to annoy the crap out of me. And right, right at this moment, I'm going to spam Thunder Wave like crazy because I'm trying to get him to switch out. I was like hoping he would like switch out for no reason into Trance Heart. So the next song is... Lust Sin, Jin's theme from Blaze Blue OST. So I go for another psychic here because I'm like, okay, I have to take him down. And he wakes up and he goes for spikes. So after leftovers, I'm going to Thunder Wave him again just because of, you know. And then he Grass Knots, which isn't going to do too much. You see, doesn't really weigh that much. So, and Grass Knots based off weight for the most part. So then I'm going to go for another Thunder Wave, and he sets up more spikes, and I'm like, 
Oh, that poor gun see of mine is dead if it comes back in now. So. I go for another psychic now. And that's going to do a good bit. And now he's going to go for another spikes. And I think this next turn I finish that rose raid off with a psychic. That I do. So I'm like, alright, Rose Raid's gone, but Tarant's Heart is still annoying the crap out of me, and I know it's looming. But I went on Smogon, it's damage calculator, and I did the damage calcs, and I knew I could survive a Jolly Nature T-Tar's Crunch, which is what he's going to go for. But I'm going to do this just because I'm annoyed and pissed at that thing, and I just Thunder Wave it, I'm like, oh. And so I'm like, alright, next turn, the thing's going to die. I'm going to take that thing down. Thunderbolt! Goodbye, Tarantar! Sorry, guys, that thing just annoyed the crap out of me during that battle. I was like, oh, God. So now that that thing's out of the way, he goes on to Hasagi69. Okay. And I was like, wow, Lucario can learn Crunch, so there goes my Blast. So I'm like, alright, one Pokemon left. Hey, self, let's go. It's all up to you, because if Porygon Z comes in, it's dead. And he E-speeds, and I notice he's Life Orbed, but I survive that, so I'm like, Party time, party time, Flamethrower. I got Life Orb 2. There goes Lucario. I'm like, yes! One more Pokemon! What could it be? It's a Vaporeon. So, what do I do? Suicide! Explosion! What the fuck? Boom! So, good game. KP3293. Rate, comment, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys go check out his YouTube channel. And I move on to the semifinals now. Go check out Rocket Game Corner. Peace, guys.